Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rentway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for May 3rd, 2022. Well, doggone it, yesterday we had a, a rough start to May as those bears came charging back in, pushing us back down toward those 2022 lows here in the Dow. But we even we made some new 2022 lows in some of the other indexes. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Boy, we've had a lot of volatility in this market, and unfortunately, I don't see that changing here, at least in the near future, as we wait on the FOMC. But let's take a look at these index charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, doggone it, yesterday we pushed down in here, and as you can see, we did test um, some support levels in the chart here, um, pushing down here in the Dow. We did end up ultimately in the end of the day with a, a big surge, um, really in the last hour of the day, rallied back up, leaving behind a hammer pattern. Now, that hammer pattern is a hopeful bullish pattern that we could maybe start to see some relief rally. But unfortunately, that hammer pattern really didn't fix anything because if you notice right in here, we still have just all kinds of resistance above in this chart. We really didn't resolve anything yesterday with that hammer pattern. And as you can see, um, we're getting a little bit of bearishness here in the pre-market um, pushing us back down. So we'll want to watch these resistance levels pretty closely as we approach them uh, for that next potential of the bears fighting back to push us down. Of course, all of the uncertainty right now is coming in the, in, um, the FOMC. What is the FOMC going to do? How aggressive are they going to be? Will it push us into recession? And I think at this point, you know, it would seem that recession is going to be pretty hard to avoid. And that soft landing that, um, the FOMC talks about all the time, it's starting to look more and more like a full-on nosedive crash landing um, um, as they start to fight inflation. So watch this carefully in here. Certainly we are in an oversold condition in the short term and that gives us that little bit of hope that we can get that relief to follow through. But let's keep in mind if we do rally up, we're, we're going to really want to pay attention to these resistance levels. If we hit here, we could easily turn around and fail. If we push up into here, we could easily turn around and fail. So we've got an awful lot of work here to um, get going. And if those bears were to take off today, we're going to want to watch this level right in here. If we break down through there today, I would look for a test of that 2022 low here in the Dow. If we take a look at our SPY, unfortunately, our SPY um, pretty difficult chart here overall. Notice that we did yesterday make a new 2022 low, uh, but we bounced off of that yesterday. But unfortunately, when we bounced, we didn't resolve anything. We bounced back up, but we didn't break any resistance levels in the chart. And as you can see, we've got those bears pushing back a little bit here this morning in the pre-market. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. And then just realizing if we can get through there, well, then we still have this major resistance level above as well as downtrends to contend with here in the chart. So we still have a lot of work here to resolve and our technical patterns just aren't good with our 34 EMA, 20, uh, 20 simple moving average crossing down through the 50, providing that additional resistance. But I will say in that short term, we kind of stretched out to the downside here. We were overdue for a relief rally, but I got to tell you, with all the uncertainty out there, it's hard to know if the bulls are going to have the energy to do that um, because those bears are pretty darn feisty right now. And let's take a look at the QQQ. That old QQQ, boy, it is in a tough situation as we continue to move down in this trend. 
we have failed those 2022 lows and um, although we did get a nice little bounce back yesterday once again it didn't even breach back up through that 2022 area there that low um, so consequently we still have a lot of work here in these charts to resolve before we can really say that um, the bulls um, uh, have regained some control here. Um, kind of take a look here. We've got quite a little bit of price resistance in that chart above. As we move up, we're going to have to challenge these areas and those downtrends in the chart. And remember, guys, I repeat this over and over and over. We cannot have a bullish upside trend until we can break the downtrend and hold a higher low. That's where trends all begin in the market. So watch carefully for that and be really careful not to predict that this is going to be the bullish move because it could easily reverse on any of the data that comes out of the FOMC or these economic reports or earnings reports today. So watch that close. And then our IWM, IWM obviously pretty darn bearish. Um, breaking those 2022 lows, continuing to move in this overall downtrend that's pretty darn ugly. Lots of resistance above in the chart. We're going to need something special to get that moving to the upside. So we're going to want to watch that pretty closely. Um, that possibility that if we continue to fail, guys, is, well, there is a huge open hole here. Um, if we continue to see that selling, there would be every reason to believe that we could push all the way down here into um, 168, 170 area in the Russell. So big open hole there that we could fall into if those bulls can't find a reason to um, start charging back in. We'll have to wait and see. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX had a nice little relief yesterday and boy we were really really close to a very dangerous area in the market pushing up through this area right in here would be um, one of those places where it can trigger an awful lot of panic selling and some rotation um, additional rotation from institutions that didn't happen yesterday we pushed up there we threatened it but ended up uh, pulling back here but certainly a 32 handle is not a bullish case for the market it does give us that little bit of hope however that we could get some relief in that volatility with a little pullback but you're going to want to uh, be keeping an eye on that 30 handle area as a possible support if we can push down through that, I would be looking in that 25, 26 handle area for that next level of price support in the chart. So we've got a lot of work here on the VIX before we can really say, hey, the bulls are getting back under control. Um, let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 continues to show us that we have um, um, oversold condition in the short term here in the market and that a relief rally could occur at any time. So I tend to be right now, I tend to be watching pretty closely for those potential um, relief rallies and I don't want to chase the short to the downside right now but watching this carefully um, with all of the data that we've got coming our way um, we certainly have that possibility that we could linger down here in this zone. Notice we have had a time before um, in the recent past where we lingered down here for a while. So as we wait on the FOMC and wait on all of this data coming out, there is that uh, obvious possibility that we could stay uh, kind of on this lower side of things before um, we can get moving to the upside. However, I'm going to be watching closely for that potential relief rally from this oversold condition. Whether or not it can have um, a whole lot of upside potential, I can't tell you that, but um, I would expect at any moment in time we could start to catch that little bit of relief in the market. Now let's take a look at our T2108. Unfortunately our T2108 didn't help us at all yesterday. T2108 pushing down. We closed the day with uh, about 28% of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. Notice we broke this level of price support. We continue to move in this overall downtrend in the chart. But there is that little bit of hope in here that I mentioned yesterday that 
um, we're kind of we haven't made new lows on the uh, the year in that but unfortunately we are breaking those trends so we're gonna need something special here to start pushing us back up and um, breaking through I don't know what that's going to be but we'll want to be watching carefully um, if we start to respond because that's a pretty bearish chart and then if we look at our t2107 I gotta say the same here on t2107 this has been one unbelievably long uh, downtrend here in t2107 uh, just over 27 percent of our stocks um, below their 200 or holding above their 200 day moving average and as you can see we broke these price supports in the chart we broke these trends in the chart pretty darn bearish and as we went into the close we really didn't see anything out of that um, out of that index really improving um, as we rallied at the end of the day so pretty pretty ugly chart and our t2101 continues to show us that those bears have control here the momentum is in their favor but as you can see we're starting to get that little bend here in t2101 that the bears control may be starting to soften here just a little bit so if data helps support that we may see those bulls regain some control and maybe some momentum can shift toward those bulls here um, in the near future, but watch that close. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today, guys. Our economic calendar, we um, have a few things that we're gonna wanna be paying attention to. It's not like real major market moving reports today, but certainly when the market is so emotional as it is right now and uncertain, any of these reports could certainly uh, be substantially market moving um, if they pile on. So you'll wanna keep in mind, we've got motor vehicle sales numbers coming out here soon. We're gonna have factory orders and then the job openings report. What we're gonna be watching for is, remember yesterday our PMI numbers started to show us that our economy, our, our manufacturing, our economy is slowing um, even ahead of rate increases. So we'll wanna be keeping a close eye on these if these start showing little declines um, that is adding to the weight of that potential recession or slowing in our economy so keep an eye on those keep in mind then as you prepare for the next day anything is possible on Wednesday we've got mortgage applications ADP international trading goods we've got ISM services we've got the petroleum status and then the Mac daddy of the day is going to be the FOMC and the Fed chair statement. Um, not so much about what they're going to do tomorrow. I think everyone kind of understands probably a 50 basis point increase. Could they be more aggressive? Certainly. But there is concern that they may be pushing for an even more aggressive increase in June. So um, just kind of keep an eye on that. Who knows how the market will actually react to that data. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Boy, we have a busy one um, on earnings today. Um, around 220 plus companies are reporting today. And that ramps up um, through Thursday. Um, busy, busy week of earnings reports. So let's take a look at some of these notables today. And I won't be able to cover them all, guys. If you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you go right down in the description, right below the title of the video. There will be a link that will take you back to the morning blog so you can catch some of those notables here for today. Keep in mind, um, AMD. AMD is one of those notables for today. We'll want to be keeping an eye on that this afternoon. Watch that closely. We've got Pfizer reporting today. It looks like we're getting a little bouncing around there on Pfizer. Um, AKAM is on the list today. We're going to hear from um, Cummins. Cummins today. Looks like Cummins is showing just a little bit of weakness here this morning. Watch that closely. We're going to hear from uh, BP, and, and unfortunately, um, BP. Um, uh, BP bouncing up this morning, even though th their earnings weren't all that great. Um, getting a little bit of a bounce up here this morning to test those downtrends in the chart. We've got MPC coming in um, to report um, MTOR. 
Um, we've got OKE on the list. We've got um, um, SWKS on the list. Uh, YUMC on the list. So we've got a pretty darn busy day um, ahead of us of earnings reports. And just keep in mind, it, it really all depends on how much um, reaction we get to these reports, um, whether they'll turn into those mark moving um, results. We just don't know. It's going to be a little bit um, interesting to watch that. Let's take a look at um, our economic, or excuse me, um, um, let's take a look at some stock setting up for today. If you ever wondered if these videos were done live, um, now you know, I don't edit them. Um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, just really quickly, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful and helpful if you could please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. I also want to remind everyone that we are still doing our open house. Um, we've got one more day for our open house. We had a great day yesterday and I'm looking for another fun day today. So if you haven't been able to attend so far, make sure I'm going to leave a link um, again below the title of the video today that will take you to the registration page where you can join us for um, all day today um, in the market. Hopefully we get some relief rally. We'll have to wait and see, but um, come on over and join us and ask some questions. If we can help you with your trading, we'd love to do that. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to do your own due diligence. You need to be um, paying very, very close attention to the risk of these trades and you should never, ever follow blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. First off, let's take a look. Um, I, I noticed Qualcomm first thing yesterday. Um, Qualcomm has an interesting pattern here. It's it's actually one of the patterns that I like to pay attention to in a chart. We call it the tried and true pattern. And that tried and true pattern is where we break the downtrend here and we try to hold that higher low. We've got a nice little bullish candle showing up in here. I wouldn't rule out the possibility that this may have to rest a little bit longer because Qualcomm is underneath that 50 day moving average um, here. But we are starting to see just that little hint of bullishness here in Qualcomm. I might want to put that on a list. Keep a pretty close eye on that. Um, notice that Facebook made a nice move yesterday pushing on up. You'll want to be careful with this because we're having so many troubles with those big techs. This is oversold and you'll want to notice right in here substantial resistance right here in this chart that we'll want to be paying attention to. But if Facebook can follow through with that nice bullish candle, then there may be some upside here in that. So keep a close eye on that. A couple other places I noticed, if you take a look at um, SQ, now SQ has been struggling so much. These pay systems have had such a tough time. But what I'm seeing here, nice bullish engulfing candle yesterday, still underneath that downtrend. So we still have a lot of work here to do. But if that could pop through, start coming up out of that downtrend and hold those higher lows, there might be some opportunities there to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. Still an awful lot of work to get some of these stocks moving to the upside. Another one might be like CLX. Now CLX looks like they missed on their earnings and they're heading lower. So now I've kind of got to put CLX on the list of a potential short. So um, not looking so good as I was hoping here this morning. Um, but why that close. If we rally back to a resistance in the chart, if this rallies back up, then I'm going to be looking for that next potential short there on Clorox. Take a look at um, some of the financials. Oh my goodness, our financials are in some pretty bad shape. 
Now, I wouldn't want to chase them to the downside. Notice we had a nice little hammer pattern there yesterday. But if we start seeing that rally back in these financials, watch for that next resistance level in the chart as we rally back up. If we run into that resistance, run into that downtrend, I would be looking for that next opportunity to short some of those. And if you take a look at like uh, BAC, man, what an ugly, ugly downtrending chart. Uh, these financials are struggling um, a lot. And I got to tell you guys, it's pretty rare to see a, a, a good, strong bullish market if the financials are weak and suffering. So keep an eye on these. This could be really, really important to whether or not we're going to start moving back up if they can start catching a little bit of rally to the upside. So watch those closely. You might also want to keep a, um, an eye on some of those stocks. There's a big mix going on in some of these stocks um, in energy. Um, oil prices are going back up. I'm sorry. Oil. <laughs> I can't catch the right symbol there. Um, oil prices are going back up and we're getting a mix in some of these earnings reports, but take a look at Devon. Devon reporting, okay, um, um, but as we see those oil prices pushing back higher, you might wanna watch if this can reclaim some um, support up here, there may be some opportunity still in these energy prices. And I gotta tell you, if you look at stocks in the natural gas area, I'm holding holding um, UNG um, so I have a bias in here but I've been holding this a long time based on a, a weekly chart and I gotta tell you guys UNG is just uh, I mean it's phenomenal natural gas uh, continuing to move up you could look at uh, BOIL and other natural gas plays out there might be pretty interesting for you to investigate so with that guys um, I want to recommend that you be a little bit careful and cautious remember as we wait for that FOMC really anything is possible um, we could see a nice little relief rally begin um, heading into that number we could also see the full-on reversal that could occur um, overnight so just be prepared for about anything trade wisely have an awesome day and i will see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning i wish you all the best